what is up guys welcome back to another fate nights episode 4 so I just want to give you guys a quick rundown of what's been happening so we had episode 1 2 3 which I done like about one and a half or two months ago and then I had to take a break because of my computer and then I'm back so I wanted to first catch up to all the ongoing anime but then I thought you know it's not really fair on you guys so I decided to do the ongoing series for example I just finished my hero academia and then I take Bleach and um, Fate series at least one episode each and then record it and then you know put it on so you guys have something to watch while I'm recording next is Boruto which I'm planning to record so that's what's gonna happen after Boruto you guys gonna get another episode and then after Black Clover, Stage Gate etc etc so you guys gonna get episode then and after that I will try my best just like I did with the ongoing series how fast I catched up the ongoing series I will try the same speed with this one so you guys can you know don't have to wait that long and yeah that's pretty much it so that's being said last time we saw Saber vs Lancer began but he ran away he even advised not to follow him so interesting and let's see how this is gonna go I'm not sure if Saber is allowed to talk about uh, you know his her previous master I'm not 100% sure that would be interesting if she start telling the story about Kiritsugu and Kirei I'm I know he's the judge I mean like the not like judge but the guy who controls it all basically look after all the rules are being followed etc I don't know if he can participate if he is the judge so let's see how this is gonna go also the thing between Rin and um, let's just stick to Emiya, Emiya. Uh, him like I'm not sure what was you know why is he have to heal him when he got killed by a Lancer and what happened between those two before there might be a past which we don't know about or does he just have a crush on him I don't know let's see this is gonna be an hopefully a great episode let's go and see episode 4 again I can only show you guys subtitle due to copyright reasons so yeah okay 3 4 5 6 7 8 that's the uh, timer Wait, is this ongoing right now? Or is this just a that fight? Oh, and we saw, uh, well, Shiro's stepsister. She came with uh, one of her servants. It looked like that guy's a berserker. Not sure who. Oh, there we go. It's going to be interesting. Oh, wait. She can see it. That's remind her of Irish field or something. No, see, you even know her, right? See, met her before. That guy is definitely a berserker. Look at him. Damn, she's planning to kill her. Okay, so she is planning to kill all of them. These guys gonna have to fight to, I mean, work together. But see, no, that's his, that's her brother, right? I'm not sure. This is where they actually change the character because one of you commented, "Keep an open mind when you see all the characters," because there's some thing they did different from the manga the modification so not sure if Ia is modified from the original manga but nevertheless let's enjoy it as it is from here ha, we're gonna see Lancer vs Archer but the Archer is really interesting he is using double swords nothing coming out from you know just like um, Gliss Glikmesh. I can't say that guy's name. Previous archer from Fate Zero. Glikmesh. Glikmesh. Ah, never mind. 
But you can see they keep pointing at Saber's eye. I'm assuming that's because she recognized her. But Ia herself recognized him as a brother, so not sure why she is doing that. Chapter 4 The Strongest Adversary. Huh. Okay. Oi. It's look like she is without any weapons because we can't see the sword. Yeah, is what it seems like one of those messed up characters, you know, love fighting. This guy's not that slow either. But what is she exactly planning to do? Damn, already she was about to say something, yeah, I would think. Ah, uh, good luck with that. Damn. He is strong though, but he is slow compared to... Damn, the sword doesn't really do much. Oh, damn, that uh, he, uh, the wound is still not healed. Archer Oi That's not doing any damage to him Oh, you don't tell the king to run Oi But where's the Ab Avalon? Avalon? I must say, basically the thing that heals. Does he know him from somewhere? This. Okay, her sword. You can see it's ripping down her sword. I'm pretty sure Saber and uh, Shiro, they're both gonna go well together because you know they both technically want to serve everybody. Oh! Damn! Wait, who's that? Who was that one looking at that world looking thing? That's look like Sakura to me, well at least a purple hair. Oh wait, is he gonna use a command? Wait, what is he? Oh! That must have at least broken his backbones. But you saw the command spell was uh, blinking. He received a message. What the hell?
So she technically just wanted to kill Saber. Okay, I have a feeling that's Sakura. That has to be her. Wait. So, what's gonna happen? Is he just seriously injured? Oh, okay, he is having a memory. <laughs> That's the reason. But you can see Chris, I'm pretty sure I said this in one of those reactions before. But look at his face. It looks so peaceful and calm right now. Before he's always thinking about something. And I'm pretty sure Shiro and um, Saber, they both should be able to get along really well. Because unlike Kritsuku, Shiro do speak more oh damn I think I think they used the Avalon otherwise he shouldn't have survived because I'm pretty sure he cracked his backbone okay You don't remember apparently. Uh, <laughs> Triangular packs. I don't think he remember. Yeah, there we go. He's backtracking. What exactly happened? Oh yeah, okay. That's the last of his memory. Oh wait, he have the Abby, uh, Ablon. Are they planning to team up?
too much to take in. That's actually true because we already start seeing. So basically right now Shiro he have to power up. Okay, so that's what had been happening with the others. That's why the other, you know, they've been a lot of killing happening. talk to Saber about it, she might be able to help him. Not kill us, kill you. Now she won't kill him. We clearly see why he why she left. <laughs> Technically, yeah, that's true. What? Interesting. I think she said it so they could fight. Yep. Just thinking about it is making him sick. Just, just think how nice this guy is. I think he had to call for her. Oh, damn. <laughs> they used to be sisters. Now look at this. It's like, like awkward. But somebody was watching all of this. Oh, okay. She's so cheerful. cheerful. Ah, look at her reaction. <laughs> I 
thing he had to call for her. Oh, his secret base. Wait, did she just clean everything? She seemed healed. But is it just is the same way she healed with the Lancer or is she actually fully healed? Punch him? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I think she have to tell him what his role is as well. I guess he want to know why she, what she want to use the grail for. Oh damn! That saber for you. They, they, they too gonna get along very well. Oh wait, if he says to kill someone. Yes, the tension is clear now they should be able to get along well but I don't know how he is gonna improve though <laughs> empty stomach our enemies oh, I think Sakura and everybody gonna join them <laughs> Saber is okay, they didn't finish it, but I guess we understand what he is trying to say. So now the tension is clear, like clear ups, and I'm pretty sure he had the Avalon. So I'm looking forward to that when we're gonna find out. And I'm pretty sure at this point, by looking at the way Saber is walking and talking, I think he's fully healed as well. And I'm not sure because 
you know, apparently Kipsuka said as a mage, he do, he have zero potential. So, not sure how he's gonna improve as a mage because he need to supply mana to Saber. But he do have mana in him a little bit, tiny bit. But is that enough? Uh, that's gonna be interesting. And then we can clearly see he don't want to use any of his uh, command spells. So I'm looking forward to seeing what's I mean, how's that gonna change or like how is he gonna keep that promise? That's gonna be something interesting. And how he's trying not to kill any humans in the middle of the battle. So that's also interesting. And it's all explained basically what happened at the start. So we saw so many deaths at the start. So it makes sense now why Servants has been killing humans to get some mana. So we're not going to look at the preview. But yeah. So quite an interesting episode. And then Rin, it seems like she is going back to being an enemy. Uh, and then Sakura and Rin, it's like an awkward moment, you know, even though they are sisters, it's just, it was, that, that was kind of an awkward moment. And then somebody was watching with the purple hair. It's, I'm, I don't know why I'm assuming it's Sakura, but the personality seems like a different and also she smelled blood on Rin, so not sure. And also not sure how Fuji, Fujinama, the teacher and also Sakura going to react to uh, save her when they actually see her okay that's pretty much it for this episode let me know your thoughts your reaction in the comment section guys overall it's been a good episode uh, they're starting to move forward so we are on episode 4 after Boruto series you will get the episode 5 which should be in two, two weeks I mean not two days sorry uh, unless there's like a you know copyright problem then I have to re-edit etc etc and the stuff that's the, that's why the my my hero academy have took so long i was like, hoping to finish that in two days well i finished it in two days it's just i couldn't upload it in two days that was the problem but that's pretty much it for me hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to leave a like if you are new don't forget to subscribe and also if you are new uh, if you are new don't forget to subscribe and press the bell symbol to get notification from me also guys if you go to the description link you have some social media you can follow me that's pretty much it for me hope you guys enjoyed it have a wonderful day and see you guys with more videos